hearts that are grateful for the gift of music, the gift of praise. And we continue to praise our Lord and God, asking for his blessings today in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. As we've heard today in our opening hymn, it's a wonderful meditation because it's true what God would have sung. God's word in Ephesians, St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians tells us that we are on the battlefield for God. We don't fight with swords and shields. We fight with the spiritual gifts that God gives us, especially the gift of prayer. Prayer is so important. So many wonderful blessings we can achieve, we can receive for ourselves and share with others through that gift. But sometimes in our world today, we're so distracted, so many things going on, that we forget to pray. We don't pray very well. So God gives us a reminder today of how important, how powerful prayer is in the first reading, then he helps us learn how we can pray maybe a little bit better in the gospel reading today. In the second reading, he reminds us that we're God's children. And we should come close to our loving Father with grace and with trust, but also recognizing that we sometimes walk imperfectly in this world as his children for those times we ask his pardon and his peace. So we pray together, I confess, to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made sin in my thoughts and in my words for what I have done Forgive us all of our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Amen.